So hello to all of you, wherever you may be, from the Juventus Stadium in the Alpine city of Turin. The teams then, Juventus against Inter. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter. Hi, everyone. The excitement has really picked up now, and I'm eager for the action to start. Always a special occasion when these two meet the Derby d'Italia, one of world football's most glamorous games. things on the way who do you Jim see making a difference here tricky but I'll go for Felipe Melo who plays a defensive midfielder with aggression and, and stubbornness but will also join the attack if the chance arises and you know he's much more than a one-trick pony as most Brazilians tend to be yeah I'm inclined to agree immediate danger just a fraction high and that was more than a decent attempt perhaps it deserved better too oh look they've started with such intensity but maybe they just need to add a little composure to their finishing you know it's the only thing that's missing so far Jeffrey Condogbia tries a through ball Jeffrey Condogbia tries the route one option Marquisio passes it through Manchukic with a shot Missed, but by that far, oh, he couldn't have hit that any better. And any other time, it would have sneaked in. Well, to have had a few attempts already in this game all goes well for what's to come. It's been a very bright start from them. Xiao Miranda, Palacio. Well positioned to make that interception. And it's Adair. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Where to from here? Out towards the flank. How about it? And he's made certain that won't get through. Still goalless. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Now it's Palacio. Forward it goes. 
Gel Miranda positions himself well and cuts it out. Shoots! Goal! Inter! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, they may have got the lead, but that next goal now is absolutely crucial to the complexion of this one. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. Now the pass. Looks to slip it through. Well played, he saw that coming. Oh, good interception. Loose. Looks like a good ball through. The defence can get it clear. <laughs> Still going. Where to next? Let's it into the middle. Juventus given another corner. Get a throw in. Evra with the ball through. And we've reached half time. Not the most convincing of displays. They can certainly do much better than this. They'll want to keep things simple, build up their confidence, and not rush into mistakes. we go once more well I'm sure the managers talk the talk and now it's time for these players to walk the walk and deliver a rousing response to a rousing team talk it's Mandzukic played out to the right he's there to get rid struck first time a whisker high well, I think the keeper knows all too well that there was no getting anywhere near that. That's a big escape. D'Ambrosio. Palacio. Juventus still chasing a one-goal deficit here. Evra doing well down the left. Now, what are his options? Hit into the middle. Listen, the writing was on the wall, it looked like this was going to happen, and it has. A pretty simple finish in the end, what do you think, Jim? Well, we've just seen intelligent football from intelligent footballers. That's honed on the training ground and lovely when it comes off on match day.
And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Yeah, we thought that this one would be close between two strong sides like this, and I think that just goes to prove it. Can he find a finish now? Goal! Juventus! And the game is well and truly turned on its head! I think he just thought about trying his look from further out there, but why bother when you can worm your way through a defence like that? It's it's terrific play to, to get through and score. Juventus get themselves into the lead. And yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Now it's Icardi. Now the pass. Oh, surely that deserved better. Yeah, and that was all about the through ball. Great control and the weight was perfect. Tomo. Almost 75 minutes on the clock now. Nakatomo. Felipe Melo. Ada. Icardi. And the counter is on. Evra. a promising ball and he's onside aimed in towards the centre back of the net two up and threatening to pull clear a great delivery and a finish to match yeah I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch and it was fully deserved he gave it everything he had Into Milan, look as though they're about to make a change. Juventus take a two-goal lead and are looking good for the win. Good run through the middle, but he needs support. Look, we've seen it from the fella before, even from that sort of range, he's just really, really capable, and I think he must be catered for it. They have to work on that and get to him sooner. Icardi. It's anyone's ball. Evra. Jao Miranda does well there. Alert. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Juventus winners after an absolutely outstanding game. Fabulous drama as they dragged it back from behind. Made it happen and won. The end of the game. Reflections 
listen, I've experienced the highs and the lows of derby clashes, and I can tell you that when you win one, it's uh, pretty special. There's so much at stake. It's it's almost a relief to get it over, and uh, I certainly can identify with the euphoria we're watching now. I think they deserved it. So many thanks to Jim Beglin. That's all we have time for. Good evening to you.